celebration of Hanukkah officially underway tonight. Good evening to you. I'm Jatara McGee. Thanks for joining us at 10. The Festival of Lights in the Jewish faith is one of the oldest traditions in the world celebrating the survival of the Jewish people amid hate. Now this year, hundreds of years later, the U.S. is seeing a rise in anti-Semitic incidents. WNWT News 5's Danielle Dindak went to a menorah lighting ceremony tonight. Danielle, what did people you spoke with have to say? Jatera, the people I was with tonight are choosing to choose hope and light this holiday season, telling me that light will outshine all the hatred. Hanukkah is a joyous, joyous holiday. It's basically a holiday we celebrate uh, religious freedom. Lighting the candle on the first night of Hanukkah, Rabbi Yisrael Mengo with the Chabad Jewish Center. Of course, the message for each of us is we may look at ourselves as very, very small. I'm only one little jug of oil. But all we got to know is what do we do? If you kindle that oil, you'll get to burn for eight days too. At Summit Park in Blue Ash, dozens gather around the menorah, a symbol of survival and peace. The festival of light dimmed by the surge of anti Semitism. It means celebrating with family and friends. And it means wonderful memories of when I was a child. And there wasn't as much anti-Semitism that I felt as a child. According to the Anti-Defamation League, anti-Semitism hit an all-time high last year with similar numbers this year. Let's take a look at the last few months in the greater Cincinnati area. Three people were caught on security cameras, trespassing on the Miami University Hillel property and overturning the sukkah. A month later, also at Miami University, swastikas and anti-Semitic posters popped up on campus. Then, just two days later, at Ohio State University, racist and anti-Semitic messages were spray-painted on campus. The latest, just earlier this month, when two suspects vandalized the Hillel building across the street from UC. It is sick. It's sad. That's why it's all that much more important to bring light into the world. Mindy Niemhoff isn't holding on to hate. Instead, she and others in the Jewish community choose to spread love. The proper and the best response to anti-Semitism always was Jewish pride. Pride that's held this faith together time and time again for hundreds of years, even amid the hatred. I'll take your menorahs out, kindle your candle, put it out in the front window, put a happy Hanukkah sign up in front of your house. That's the best response that we have to what's going on in the world today. And tomorrow morning at 1130 right here at City Hall, there will be a community menorah lighting and there are plenty of activities going on over the next seven days. I'll make sure to add this list over on our website, but reporting live at City Hall, Danielle Tindak, WLWT News 5. All right, Danielle, thanks a lot. Well, she mentioned some of the celebrations happening to commemorate Hanukkah this week. Of course, there are many. The Jewish Federation of Cincinnati is hosting Hanukkah at Fountain Square on Wednesday. There will be a menorah lighting there, ice skating and bumper cars. That's happening from 6 to 8 on Wednesday evening.